Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of Cruise News. And in today's episode, MSC gets approval to uh, do some expansion on the Ocean Key Resort in the Bahamas. Uh, an artist that did some of Norwegian's artwork, unfortunately, has passed away. And I have an update on the woman that went overboard the other day on Spectrum of the Seas. All of these stories are in today's episode of Cruise News. Hey everybody, thanks for checking out the channel. If you are new here, please think about hitting that like and subscribe button. I post these videos every other day, followed by uh, the, yeah, theme park news. I know what I'm saying. Theme park news on the opposite days on top of vlogging all of our adventures. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button uh, if you enjoy this video. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about today's news story. So let's get it, uh, go ahead and get right on into it. All right, it was announced today that uh, artist David Lebetard has passed away at the age of 50. If you did not know, happen to know who that is, he actually is the gentleman who did the artwork on the hull of the uh, Norwegian getaway. Uh, if you've seen Norwegian ships, they like to have kind of some elaborate artwork on there. Um, he is the artist that, in fact, did the Norwegian getaway. Uh, you'll be able to see it in the picture here. That's his artwork on the hull. Unfortunately, he passed away, uh, like I said, at the age of 50. Um, he actually had some arts, uh, you know, on board in some of the art galleries as well. Um, but it didn't list any kind of cause of death for him. 50 is definitely way too young to have passed. Um, but unfortunately, he did uh, pass away. I believe that was on August 1st uh, for uh, David Lebetard, who died at 50 years old. All right. In other news, MSC and their private island, Ocean Key, um, that is in the Bahamas, they did get uh, approval to do some of the upgrades. This is a $100 million project. It was part of their phase two um, for upgrades to the island. Uh, that was approved uh, the other day, so those expansions and updates will go ahead and go through. Um, the island actually will be closed. I mentioned this in a previous video, but you may have forgotten. Um, the island will, in fact, be closed April 7th of next year, 2024, through May 22nd of 2024. That's probably when they're going to do most of these upgrades. Some of it just is stuff that you'll, you won't really know anything about. Sewage system, drainage, that kind of stuff. Some of it is to uh, expand the uh, crew uh, housing area, things like that. But there probably will also be some improvements as far as the guest experience as well. Um, so like I said, that will be happening. $100 million uh, uh, phase two of MSC's project at Ocean Key. Like I said, that means the island will be closed. Uh, this is going to be 2024, April 7th, 2024, till May 22nd, 2024. All right, and there was an update to the story about the woman that went overboard on Spectrum of the Seas the other day. Uh, her son, who was not actually on board the ship, but he was in communication with officials apparently the, uh, the entire time, he announced that his mother has, in fact, uh, passed away. Uh, I'm assuming then that the, the search has, has, you know, discontinued. I don't know. You know, if they just, uh, you know, saw her possibly when they watched on video camera, saw her that she's probably not alive or they just assumed, I mean, she couldn't swim. She fell overboard this amount of time. Uh, but he did say that she did, in fact, pass away. Um, this was announced on August 1st, which unfortunately and ironically uh, just so happened to be the woman's birthday, which, you know, really sucks. Um, so obviously this was probably a birthday cruise for her. Um, the woman's, it was her name, was released. Her name is uh, Retha Sahani. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Retha Sahani. She was 64 years old. Uh, didn't really say if she fell overboard, jumped overboard, whatnot. Um, but yeah, she did pass away, like I said, and this, this would have been her birthday was on the 1st. Um, you know, say what you will about, you know, people doing dumb things and being drunk and, you know, falling overboard. Obviously, you know, it's, you know, this woman had a family. She has a son, her son, you know, the son, you know, his mother has died. You know, it's a definitely a tragic thing, regardless of what was going on and what people should and shouldn't be doing. It's still, you know, kind of, a, it's, it's obviously a tragic thing that, you know, the woman had family, you know, and stuff like that. So unfortunately he did, like I said, announce that she did in fact pass away. Um, and she was uh, 64 years old, Ritha Sahani. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for another episode of Cruise News. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about today's news stories. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video.